Well, the Oakland County prosecutor estimates hundreds of people may have been wrongfully convicted in the county over a period of decades. She's spearheading a new unit designed to bring justice to those who may have been unjustly imprisoned. And we're seeing more and more of these units turn up. They're already in Macomb, Washtenaw, and Wayne counties. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat goes one-on-one -on -one with the Oakland County prosecutor and those being impacted by these cases to reveal how the system is being challenged. The director of the new Conviction Integrity Unit in Oakland County says since the start of this year, they've received already 50 letters from people wanting to report a wrongful conviction. And they say in some cases, they date back to the early 70s. It's a bunch of people that I know that I came up with in, back in the day that's gone through the prison system. For Linnell Bates, living in Pontiac has been eye-opening when it comes to what he calls a pipeline to prison. How many do you think have gone to prison wrongfully convicted in Oakland County? Ooh, probably 60% of the people in jail are probably in there for something they didn't do. The Oakland County prosecutor estimates in the last 40 to 50 years, hundreds of criminal convictions overseen by prior leaders of her office involved wrongful convictions. National statistics show the rates of wrongful convictions could be 6 to 10 percent or possibly even more, according to the University of Pennsylvania. We all have bias and prejudice. But it's what we do with that. The new Conviction Integrity Unit Director, Beth Greenberg Morrow, a defense attorney with more than 30 years of experience, sees her new role as a calling. And she's inspired by nearby Wayne County, working to successfully free or give relief to 33 people in just the last four years. It's hard work. It's going to be a lot to review all of these cases. But we will keep statistics and we will look at why is this happening? We are only as strong as our ability to acknowledge when we make mistakes. I think Beth slowly understood that I really was committed and dedicated to doing the right thing. Greenberg Morrow most recently worked as a special prosecutor, helping to free Jawan Deering last September after finding improper use of jailhouse informants. And bad science led to a murder conviction and imprisonment 15 years ago. The case involving a deadly house fire in Royal Oak Township that killed five children. As Deering was freed, we were there. I'm grateful and I can't be upset or angry because it doesn't do anything. How did you get involved in the Juwan Deering case? Prosecutor McDonald was looking for somebody who was a criminal defense attorney, which really speaks to um, her integrity. If there were violations of somebody's constitutional rights, if there's other instances of misconduct, we have a duty to expose them. Exonerated for murder in Wayne County after 34 years, Daryl Siggers and his attorney, Wolf Mueller, also praising this new unit. Conviction integrity units, as I said, are more concerned with the truth, whether you are actually innocent. The biggest thing that I think that Prosecutor McDonald has done is live up to her campaign promises. A website is being finalized where claims can be made online by an inmate, an attorney, or someone else. In the meantime, the new director says she is actively working to hire another investigator. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.